What's up guys? This is the Brotherman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So to round off where we left off, we have deployed our forces to go and intercept a French army that's landed to the south. And to finish them off. So let's kill them. <clears throat> um, so our continued plan with the Knights of St. John is to endure, grow our tax base, and hopefully be able to knock out the Portuguese in one swift blow. Um, that would very much be my intention. Probably want to deploy our artillery up on the hill. Or to march them into a position up on the hill. Just form a big infantry line to follow them up. Cavalry in our general can secure our way in. It's a former huge line. We also have a weakened unit of cavalry coming in to support, but we're not so bothered about that. But let's see what the French are doing. Understandably, they're going to... They're going to hold position and wait for us to advance, which is the smart decision. Um, we will be pushing up as well, but I just want to get my artillery set up in a good position without killing a bunch of my own men in the process. So let's see if they're in range. Yep. Actually, the French are on the move. Except for the the, uh, the the 10th Regiment, it seems like it's the AI's prerogative to always... You know, if they put units behind walls, to keep them that way. So let's do something like this. And we're going to speed up time because that's going to take forever to get into position. But it looks like they are deciding to push. So let's keep our artillery, but our cavalry behind. Put our strong unit up front. Probably send our strong, strong unit to go and intercept the tribal auxiliary. And if anything, our entire deployment is wrong because we don't really need troops all the way out there on the wing so they're going to get an open volley into our cavalry we downed two of our cavaliers but we've made it into combat run some of this infantry into position I, I would like to kill their tribal auxiliary before their infantry gets a chance to bring their guns to bear and let's probably maybe take a formation like this just to continue marching around get some of these men up into positions to help support battle in the center all of our guns engage the bulk of their line move our cavalry up as well. Because you do want to be in a position to chase them down and finish them off. Let's 
especially when it looks like that's going to be a very real possibility like now. Make these formations run, just they don't spend forever. Sat at the back of the map. Run my general, run my regiment of horse. All of my artillery focus on the 67th. Regiment of Militia, good, because they were just starting to come back. So let's just speed up time while our cavalry mows down the enemy and my infantry over here gets in position. Let's turn off my artillery to prevent too much fratricide. Yep, my cavalry's going to be very tired. But there isn't that much that can really be done about it. I didn't get to kill them all. Fire by rank is starting to work on the other unit. Yeah. So I'm speeding this up, it's just because it's very much a small fry battle. Oh, they're not even turning around to face them. Oh, sorry, it's not fire by rank that I have here, is it? I'm thinking of my Louisiana campaign. Oh, there's actually a... There's always a native unit hidden somewhere. No, nope, they also are routing. We want to continue. Ah, do we? So let's run this cavalry into the enemy because we can get our infantry out. Oh, yeah, it's our general and this other unit that's left. Two men left. And they have been destroyed. So that's taking that French stack out of the equation. Hmm? I haven't sped up the end turn phase. Good. Okay, so we've got 1400. We're getting 1600 a turn. Let's repair our men. Spend some cash on sedented farms. Let's check out our tech. Measured road is good. Measuring tools is good. But we pretty much want to gear up and try and time our assault against Lisbon such that we can just punch straight through and take them out. It would also be very nice if I could make... Well, I've got trade with, with Prussia, which is good. And it looks like they want to send their gentlemen over to try and steal our technology. It looks like the French, the Prussians might actually uh, take the French out completely. Which, um, on one hand, would be good. On the other hand, that would be a bit dodgy for us. Okay. The Mughals have taken Naples. Send more troops north. Stay north. I mean, depending on how much reinforcement we get done, now's probably the time. Now is the time to hit George, to hit Portugal, if we can get there in one turn. Which I doubt, because the wall, they have no walls, all of their troops are to the north. Siamo pronti. 
No, can't get there in one turn. So we're probably going to march to... Servo vostro, yeah. signore. Altri ordini? Yeah, if we just had cal you know, just cavalry, we, we still can't even make it. So just replenish and pick up another... God, the, West the mercenaries are more expensive than line infantry. They've got more melee attack and a bit more defence, but they're less accurate. Hmm. Let's get a unit of infantry in. Obviously we can't repair that, there's not a lot we can do. Partially because we're still... Okay, let's just try and... No, what about Genoa? Is Genoa at war with Prussia? No, sadly. <gasps> Ooh. So that opens up... Well, we're going to imminently be at war with them anyway. Um, because we're going to declare war on on um, Portugal, and Portugal has a, um, I think, is their protectorate. Yeah, so we're going to be at war with George anyway, um, Genoa anyway. Um, but it's just nice to have a bit of a bit of cash coming in from trade for once. Although I say that the. Uh, Oh, the Prussians have pushed the f one French army back. They've destroyed the garrison. So long, France. I think you're out of here. Where are the Spanish sailing? Yeah, the Prussians have... Well, they've not... No, they've not taken it. They've marched up to it, but they've not taken Turin. The Ottomans are doing the Ottoman dance. Just like the British were doing. <laughs> Still, we are now getting trade. We're getting about two and a half grand a turn. And that's pretty nice. Um, for now. Because obviously we're about to declare war on... We're not about to declare war. Mm, still not bad. Certainly, it's good. The forces in the area, that's good compared to what we could be facing. Because we don't have to worry about... You know, they've got a couple of stacks to the north, so it's quite nice to not have to worry about them. So we've got measuring tools. Let's upgrade the fishery. And let's recruit. I'm going to recruit a fourth rate. Actually, I might cancel building the fishery. So I want to build a fourth to stop the um, Moroccans from being able to hop across this strait. Because they don't have a navy, and I do. So what they got? Guerrillas, irregulars, demi cannons. They're going to have some form of artillery. But we're going to have to move up very aggressively, I think. So they upgrade the vineyards, get a bit of extra wealth. Madrid's a wealthy region, but Lisbon is wealthier still. Um, don't worry about furnaces, probably go for animal husbandry to increase the wealth generated by farms. It's a farm that's been built, we moved up some infantry. Oh, okay, I have to, I have to wait a turn because this unit's marched up. Handy dandy. All our ministers are pretty good. We've got as much trade as we can. Even though actually... I know it's Division of Labour, that's the next level port, isn't it? Yep. Ten and ten. The Britons are clearing the seas. Although, hopefully, either they or the uh, the Russians have a real barney with the Prussians. But it looks like the French are really in trouble. 
It looks like they're going to get wiped out, wiped out by the Prussians. And I would be lying if I didn't say I was particularly scared. Because it's only a matter of time before uh, they turn their attentions on us. Like that. That's really scary. Because <laughs> I think they're going to go for us. And when they do, we won't be able to stop them. That's going to be the uh, the problem. Unless I did something like, <laughs> unless I just. Because they don't, because I suspect the Prussians don't have a navy. I could just dump all my troops onto a ship, and just flee and invade London, <laughs> like the Knights Templar, becoming like a nomadic people. God, Prussia's Paris is giving them lots of stuff, and they are growing in Protestantism powers. It's not great. Let's repair the governor's palace. Give you better roads, even though it's not going to help that much. Actually, then again, it's probably not going to help as much compared to upgrading this. Or, can't add another fourth rate, so I may as well build this. So, what have they got now? Just a couple more chaff units, lots of artillery. I should really be saving up for drill school because we can afford it now. So if I cancel building that, how much does this cost? Two grand, okay. I may as well build it, then next turn I will crack on and build it. So up here, that's lots of troops. Line troops you haven't got to worry about. Portugal. So they're not allied with anyone. The protector is Genoa, which is frustrating but not the end of the world because they'll immediately siege us again but we've got to do it declare war we have no allies but they've not been joined by Genoa that's huge okay everyone let's go take Lisbon let's expand our territory just a little bit just a little bit. Um, I will then have my eyes on Morocco as well. That'll need a lot of converting. Um, but that too would be... Morocco's fairly valuable. But let's... Fortunately, because they're going to have so much of their army... They're going to have so much effort sewn up in artillery. That will be an advantage for us, I think. So our centre that's going to get smashed is going to be made up of infantry. My good infantry, my militia are going to come around the flank, supported by cavalry, including my general. Hightail it, hightail my guys over rapidly. The enemy regiment of horse is gearing up, so I want to focus fire them with my next volley and bring my regiment of horse to bear in the centre. our next next volley coming in and they've missed and done really poorly so aim for the block of infantry to the rear these men halt you halt fire will off in fact all of you just dump into square formation
at you as out of fire, out of square formation, and instead fill a very small gap here. So let's pick targets for my artillery. Although I am very confident my militia flanking maneuver is going to win the day for us in the end. They have men on the flank. Two units onto the Irish Brigade. Two units into their infantry centre. The regulars. General's got to charge in. Yeah, we've got to charge in. See you in protect the flank here, you guys stretch your line out to maximise fire inside the town. Charge my militia in. To help win. <laughs> help prevent my general from getting yanked off his saddle. elsewhere our units are defeating oh where's my cavalry get down here with all speed you guys halt someone's bodyguard get out of the way get my militia in to nail down their cavalry got a charge in the centre my marines will love that Let's pick new artillery targets. So there's gorillas, there's more gorillas. Mikle, Miklet, Mike. Right way to pronounce it. But my militia are going to pay a heavy price against this cavalry, but it's worth pinning them down. Shattered, so let's go knock them down. Get this militia running up and avoiding the fight. So it looks like they're probably going to suffer more casualties from the guys behind their line firing into them. Folks, fire. Artillery, let's push into the town. Covering a slice into these irregulars. Good, they're shattered, now charge into the back of the regiment of horse that's winning it decisively. Secure the flank of the chapel. damage to these Portuguese on the right flank but let's march our men up to also meet this unit of armed citizenry gunning down the, some artillerymen 
of attempt to charge through the center. And there goes the regiment of horse. wing advance they do not wish to give up their homeland so easily which is commendable if foolhardy and we're not worried about killing them all because we are aware that this is a single city battle and it should... Oh, good artillery hit there. 22nd is broken. Our, our artillery can just about touch the 5th regiment. Everyone else is falling back on in, in every direction. broken the back of the Portuguese. Oh, there's, a, there's a one regiment over here. Oh, let's end it there. Oh. But this is really good because it's more or less doubled our income. <laughs> so Cesar Fierro, the regiment, the area is ours and they shouldn't. Well, they do hate us a lot. So let's knock down the school. I don't really want to knock down the school, but they hate us, so uh, things have to be done and I can't fix any useful buildings like the Great Parliament or the Observatory. Um, and I'm probably... I can't recruit anything there either. I am probably going to want to send Cavalry Runner up to Porto. But... Oh, our income hasn't... Oh, our income has not, not improved because I'm exempting them from tax. <laughs> Obviously. Which is necessary, because I do need to keep them as happy as long as I can. Yet yeah, the French are gone. The French have been destroyed. The end turn sequence does not have a French flag any longer. Obviously, the Spanish have shown up again. Um, but looking at them, if I was them, I'd be very cautious about my goals. So I think yeah, the best thing to do is to knock down the school, rebuild the government building and the observatory this turn. Next turn, build the school back up to a coaching house. We might convert it back when public, um, public order gets to a better position. But for now, I think we're probably going to leave it. Leave it as is, especially as we've not got the money to maximise. You know, if we had two schools, there's a real risk that we'll end up running into a research bottleneck. You now start to work on flying shuttles. Probably not bad. But probably one of these. Division of labor. Yeah, division of labor. Okay, so three thousand, three thousand smackers. That gets us to rebuild this building, not the government building, but we can build a coaching in to help maximize happiness. We're about to get another town developed. Lixeria? Done. That's far, far, far. No, Lyria. Okay, you can stay as a happiness building. Then we might convert one of these later ones into a school. We're not going to do anything here because we can't. We're going to let them take it. And our efforts are probably best spent on spending some of the last money replenishing our troops. Okay, let's hit end turn again. I mean, Prussia, I, you know, funnily enough, Prussia's going to be what kills us in this campaign because their, their empire spans Europe. <laughs> yep, 
So they've taken us out. But that's by the by. There's nothing we can do about that realistically. The Ottomans are doing the Ottoman dance. Hmm. But yeah, we very much need to get Lisbon under control before we can do anything useful. If the Spanish march on the capital, that might force our hand. But as, as much as possible, I'm going to let them stay the way they are. They're down to minus two already. That should be great when we've fixed uh, the good of the... the um, once we've built the happiness building. Lots of armies destroyed. Our navy's been punted out, so they will go to Porto. Our cavalry will rejoin in the capital and will probably improve public order by one. So they've broken their weaver's cottage, which we can't repair, but that's okay. Yeah, so the Spanish have been done some raiding. Again, that's okay. How much does taxing you damage things? Okay, stay untaxed. For the time being. Because, well, we'll need, we'll need to put down the Portuguese rebellion because I think the rebellion happens this turn. That's right, Prussia. Take all of your troops eastwards and fighting rebels. Go take out Genoa. Oh, they're going to go take out Spain as well. Glorious. Well, I mean, I say glorious. This is very much trumpeting the advancement of an enemy which will cause us severe problems um, later on because we won't be able to to compete. So I think this turn there will be a rebellion and there's, there's nothing I could have done about it. Apart from maybe you know, I could have demolished the Weaver's Cottage if that would stop them from getting <clears throat> Savoy of taking cheer in. There's the Portuguese rebels. So they're currently plus one. If I take my army out, that will go down to minus three, which itself isn't a massive problem. Hey, we recruited an agent here. Let's get him up to Salamanca. Research, do not duel. Upgrade the boardy house. It's not doing anything to upset you yet. Maybe recruit one militia to see how that impacts. The public order. I mean, this is just going to be an auto because wow, we did not need to lose that many men. Probably say again. Yeah, we do, do not trade those battles one for one. Good. And I can tax them and get an extra two grand. So now we're at 5,000 gold a turn, which is, for us, huge. The problem is now is how we exploit it. Um, and I think the way to exploit it is to upgrade our cities, take Gibraltar, maybe take Morocco as well. It'd be nice if we could just make peace with the Ottomans and they'd leave us alone. But I suppose right now that's the pretty much the situation we've got. It looks like there's a big um, conflict in northern Italy. Gurgling a bit because I've been drinking fluids. And there you go, the pirates. Okay, let's 
Okay, first of all, this is going to be an expensive bill. Nearly four grand. Just put them under siege for now. Don't go crazy. Actually, if anything, you can probably deal with not besieging them. Just take another turn to replenish. It's not enough money to repair that, but I can... Pair some buildings just to get rid of the, the smoke. But yeah, that's a lot of a lot of cash, and we've got a lot of scope for resistance to foreign occupation to go down. Um, so I'm pretty happy. So I think I'm going to probably end the turn there. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the continued adventures of the Knights of Saint John. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>